Okay, this is the extended joint mobility. You're going to use this one on a recovery day, really just the day that it's specified in the program. But all you're doing is just taking your workout time and doing mobility exercises which can help you recover. It's pretty easy to do, relatively easy. It may be a little tough for you depending on where you're at fitness-wise. But this is just helping you recover. You're going to feel better. When you do these days, you're going to come back to a hard workout days and you're going to be ready to do it. You're going to be a lot stronger. So make sure that you do this part of the program. Or don't. I don't care. I mean, do just one. Okay, first one is the cat cow. So you probably know that. Hands right over the shoulders, knees right over the hips. Don't get back like this or forward like this. You're going to curl your back up by pushing your hips forward at the same time that you pull your head down. And then you're going to reverse that. Up with your head while your butt comes up. Look down. Look up. <coughs> Look down. Go for five each way. Okay, next one is called the Six Point Zenith. You don't need to worry about that name. I'm just telling you what Van John calls it because that's where I got it from. You see where I got it from. So, same position. Reach back, reach across. Reach back, reach across. Three, four, and five. Switch sides. And breathe into it. Now we're going to do a strider with the down dog. So the down dog strider is where this knee comes up outside of this elbow. Down dog. Other side strider. Down dog. Next one 
is going to be a table maker, is what it's called. So you want to start out with your heels down, hands right beside you. You're going to roll your whole body forward, lift the hips up high, try to keep your shoulders back as best you can. Slide your butt back, and do it again. Hips up, butt back, hips up, butt back. Watch your shoulders if you have shoulder issues here. Modify, and don't go up as high. If you have wrist issues, skip this one all together. Five of those. Next one is going to be a plow to whatever this thing's called here. Legs out wide, reach for the middle. Plow is where you roll back. Yeah, as you come forward, get the legs out wide, reach, plow, roll back. Two. Four. And five. Now with our legs out wide still, we're just going to roll the torso. So roll one direction. We're going counterclockwise right now. Two. Three. Four. Five. Switch directions. One. Two. Three, four, and five. <clears throat> Next one, and the last one is the shin box. So start out with your hands behind your back, and here's what you're aiming for. Knee to the back of the heel, knee all the way inside of the knee all the way on the floor. Don't push it if it hurts. Leave your feet there, roll to the other side. Pick up, roll to the side, pick up, roll to the side. Now what you want to be able to do is do it without using the hands. So roll this way, sit up tall, pick up, roll this way, sit up tall, pick up, roll, pick up, roll. Coming at the camera. It's a real sexy way of coming at your lady. Hey, baby. Come and, come and get you. Alright, about five of those inside. That was four and five. That was screwing around. That's it for the extended joint mobility. Go ahead and go through that. Maybe you find it boring, maybe not. Either way, it is really going to help you recover faster so that you hit the workouts harder. Good job. I'll see you tomorrow.